Hello. Um, today I want to talk about battery warranties and battery guarantees. Uh, we got information about the Model 3 warranty for the standard range is 8 years, 100,000 miles. For the long range, it's 8 years, 120,000 miles. One thing they didn't do with the Model S that they are doing with the Model 3 is they're guaranteeing that it will retain 70% of its capacity over that time. My only problem with this is, based on how warranties usually pan out, a lot of people are going to look at this and think it's normal for the battery to lose 30% of its capacity over that time, and that's just not the case. For a Model S, you'll probably be well over 200,000 miles before you get anywhere near 30%. Um, at 200,000 miles, you probably won't be at 20%. Maybe you'll be at 10%. So if this is based on the car's range in miles, I'm curious to know what the Model 3 shows for range when you charge to 100%. The EPA tested the Model 3 long range rear wheel drive version to have a range of 334 miles, but Tesla asked them to lower it to 310 miles. So the EPA rated range is actually 334 miles, but the advertised range is 310 miles. And they'll likely do the same thing with the standard range version whenever it's available. So when you charge a Model 3 to 100%, which number do you get? And which number are they basing this on? So if it's based on the advertised range, you would actually need to lose 35% of the EPA range instead of 30 to trigger the warranty. That would leave you with 217 miles of range. If it was based on the EPA range, then you would have 233 miles of range. So far, I haven't heard of anyone having this amount of degradation over that short period of time. So it's very unlikely that it would happen to anyone with a Model 3. What's more likely to happen is if you just happen to get a bad battery and you need to change the battery in the first year or two. That being said, it's still a good warranty. It's equal to or better than all the warranties offered by its competitors. Uh, for the Nissan lease, the warranty is 8 years, 100,000 miles for defects. Um, for degradation, their warranty is 5 years, 60,000 miles, and they guarantee you'll have 9 bars, which on a leaf is about 70%. The Chevy Bolt warranty wasn't quite as good as 8 years, 100,000 miles, but they're only guaranteeing 60% battery capacity. And on a boat, that's about 142 miles of range. The Kia Soul EV also has an 8 years, 100,000 mile warranty. They also guarantee 70% capacity, which is about 65 miles on that, that vehicle. I know some of the early Nissan Leafs had issues with battery degradation, but I haven't really heard about it in their later models. Overall, I think these warranties are really good to have, but they are extremely conservative. It seems like with most products, they figure out how long something will last, and they'll give you a warranty one or two years or less than that amount of time. If we can't seem to get this television to last more than five years, let's give it a three-year warranty. But with the electric vehicles, early indications are these batteries will easily outlast the warranty. And at some point, I'd expect them to bump up those capacity estimates to 80 or 90%. But that's all I have on batteries and battery degradation. Hopefully, nobody needs to use their warranties. Seems like every time it's windy, I have to drive back with an empty trailer. Oh, glory doesn't mind.